Hello! So during the summer I went to Paris with my friend and one of the shops I absolutely had to visit was Baby the Star Shines Bright. They actually have a physical shop that is there. It's just awesome. If you're in Paris you have to go visit it even if you can't buy anything. I am really excited to be making this video right now. Um, apologies in advance if I just like smile the whole way through it. I'm really really happy right now. As you can see I have this very Sicily placed behind me bag. This is the baby bag I was given. It's very big. Bigger than my face. So I'm gonna start off with the smaller items and then I'll work my way up instead of the other way around. Okay? This is a letter set. It was 20 euros. It has the bears and the bunny. I, I can't think of the name off the top of my head, which makes me a really bad baby of the Star Shines Bright firm, but I got it because it's cute and I love writing letters and I think my friends will really, really like to get letters written on this. Okay, so the next thing I bought was more paper. I don't remember how much these were. There is no price on them. These are postcards and then this is paper. And I got two because I really... I really, you know, I just I just wanted to get two. This is the bag that those came in. I made that purchase on the very last day that I was there with my remaining money. I just thought, well, let's just go back and just spend the rest of my money. Who cares? Who needs to eat? Okay, so onto the things that I got for my first visit. I bought these socks. These are just plain white socks with baby the star shines bright embroidered on it in gold. I got these because I thought that they would go really well with an angelic pretty dress of mine. I don't know, is that a faux pas? Am I allowed to mix brand? But yeah, they're really nice and they were 26 euros according to the tag. So that's that's not too bad, right? I got this pen. Now I remember this was 7 euros. It just has a rose print on it and I don't really know why I got it. It was one of those impulse purchases. I just got it at the counter because it was 7 euros, you know. It's not a bad price for a pen. I paid 4 euros for a bread pen. It looks like bread, it's really cool. The third thing is this. It is the little bunny purse. There she is in all her glory. And her hands are magnetic, which is so cute. So I actually wanted to get the, the white bunny bag, but they didn't have it and I was really sad. So I just got the little purse because I just think they're so cute. This was 46 euros. These are some other bags that the guy in the shop gave me. This is a little drawstring bag, which is made of plastic. And this is just a smaller plastic one. A smaller version of the other one that I have. And this is what my clothes are wrapped up in. So this is my very first, first hand brand. Oh, and I apologize that this is not a try on video. I'm gonna move back a little bit so you can... This is my JSK. I originally wanted this in the pink colorway, but they didn't have it. And I was umming and amming about the mint one, and I tried it on, and I fell in love. I think maybe the pink would have been too pink for me. This is the top of the JSK. I love the lace. It is just so pretty. And the details down the front, and it has a little bit of lace that goes on the shoulders, which I really like. Then, of course, you have the bow. And then this is the back of it. It has... It has the lacing at the back and it is held in by lace, which is not my most favourite thing in dresses, but I was willing to put up with it because, you know, it's a really beautiful dress. And then obviously you have the waist tie and then this is the bottom of the skirt. It has lots of lovely lace on it. It's really, really pretty. And I am so happy that I got this dress because I really like it. Every time I see it, I look at it and I think, wow, I, I, I can't believe I have this dress in my collection. And the funny thing is, it wasn't even a dream dress. I have one of my dream dresses. And yes, every time I look at that, I also think, wow, I can't believe I have that. But this is just, it's, I just love it. I just love it so much. I'm so glad it's mine. No one is ever having this. I'm never selling this. I say that now and then like three years later I prefer like gothic and I'm like saddle the sweet and onto the blouse. So this blouse is very not something that I thought I would like. The lace is beautiful. Um, if maybe the star shines bright, what are you expecting? Of course it's going to be beautiful. So this is the blouse. The sleeves actually go out to the end 
which is probably what makes me think of <laughs> a princess when I wear this together with the dress. It just gives it a really flowy and really, really pretty look. And on the sleeves, there's actually a bow. I don't know if you can see that. And it has two pieces of ribbon bow. There is a piece to tie here which will turn into a bow. The guy at the shop did the bow amazingly on me and I will never in my life be able to do a bow that well, but I will try my best. And then this is a strap which you sort of, you can crisscross across your chest, which I think adds a nice, a nice touch. Everything adds a nice touch by the whole shop. Um, and then on the back is where the lace just, the lace is just so, so pretty. Look at that. That is so nice. It's really flowy and it's kind of see-through, so you wouldn't want to wear it with a skirt or something, unless you're wearing something underneath it. But yeah, I really like it and I really like the buttons and I just... <laughs> I just really like everything. Obviously, I wouldn't have bought it if I didn't like it. And I also got something from Alice and the Pirates. In August, it was Fee's birthday, and I know she really likes Alice and the Pirates, so I got her a little something for her birthday. I obviously can't tell you what's inside because that would spoil the surprise because she doesn't have it yet. It's it's in my hands. How many times have I been looking at myself in the viewfinder? I'm really sorry. I'm really bad at this. I hope you enjoyed looking at everything that I got from Baby of the Star Shines Bright and I really hope that you um, get to go there one day or maybe the San Francisco one is the one in New York I think um, or the one in Japan obviously, uh, Tokyo, whatever takes your fancy. Have a lovely day, um, bye!